are. Back in the office. My mate is filming for me. He's a mechanic friend of mine. He's been buried up to his um, nether regions in my van, the, well, the Pass It On van, trying to get it going because we've been struggling a bit um, for this season. So looked like I was going to have to buy a new van, but well, we'll see. Anyway, my friends at Air Arms, my sponsors, um, the TDR has gone back. The old takedown rifle, she's gone back. Uh, I've still got one for the Pass On ranges, but the um, demo one's gone back. And well, they've sent me something new, and I'm not quite sure what it is they've sent me. Um, they want it for a review for the magazine and for me to do some uh, really put it through its paces out in the field. Let's have a little look. I have no idea what we've got yet. Silencer. What would I be looking at? There we go. Yeah. Wow. Oh wow. We've got a Galahad. Hey, eh? an Air Arms Galahad. <coughs> My uh, in 2 2, my favourite calibre. Let's turn it around. There we go. Well, straight away, I'm not a big uh, ballpark fan, so I've tried them all and I just can't get on with them. And uh, I tried this one when they released it, and uh, I thought, do you know what? One day I'd like to have a go with that because one thing I like about this, the cocking system is at the front. You're not up here trying to do this in your ear and cock, cock the gun. You know? Uh, so uh, we've got a silencer to go on it, so that was in there. We've got everything I'd expect from an air arm so far. The balance is wonderful. That absolutely perfect. You know, got a nice little spirit level on the back. Nice easy cocking system. Yep, nice rail. I wonder what she mounts like first before I do anything. Oh yeah, I could work with that, no problem. Well, I'm gonna put the silencer on. And uh well, we'll charge her up. And uh, well, I'm going to do some hunting. So uh, let's see you see a bit more of the Galahad over the next couple of months. Keep reading the Countryman's Diary and following me on the blog. I'll catch up with you on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all the others. Let me say, proper job, mucker. Here we are. Bit of a tells from the truck. And I'm out with the new Galahad. Um, let's say we've got this one on from Mayor Arms. Uh, so we can write a review for the Countryman's Diary. And uh, so here we are. We're on a really good... Well, I've only been here for half hour so far. I've already... There's one. And I'll tell you what. That was... I mean, could have been 60 yards. Stone dead. There's another two like that to pick up. <coughs> so, after zero in the air arms... The Galahad with the Air Arms Field Diablo 5.52, my favourite. Um, let's just say I'm more than happy. I'm sticking in the five pence group and it 35 40 yards. So you can't get much better than that. A fair bit of wind and hold over for that one and uh, smacked him and then uh, smacked another two straight after because they were squawking at him. But I've got to get my welly boots on for them because they've landed in the um, the pooey area from the, from the cow. Anyway. I thought I'd try this new camera thing here. It's called Fisheye. Might work. Who knows? Anyway, proper job, mucker. Where we are using the Galahad. A uh, bit of a tells from the truck again. Uh, move locations. Um, been shooting quite a lot of pigeons and doves. Um, I'm going to try and get a picture before the uh, phone I'm filming this on dies. Galahad um, put a nice hawk scope on it. My favourite scope. Works brilliantly with air arms rifles and any other air rifle. Um, sorry about the filming, I'm a bit angled. But yeah, no, brilliant. Love this, the Galahad. Um, massive thumbs up. A few little niggles, I suppose, more than anything, is this cocking system. Brilliant cocking system, apart from that. If it gets caught in your coat and you haven't realised, it just it, or you've been carrying it, one thing with it is, is you have to make sure. Do not touch it because it shoots down and then it goes click and nothing happens. So make sure that that stays up but you don't double load it so that's pretty cool. Um, nice and short, pointable. Only thing is it's quite a heavy rifle. Um, so I would advise a sling on it or something if you've got long distances. But for stationary shooting, um, stalking in, I used um, my trigger sticks I got from Swillington's. Uh, 
but all in all, massive thumbs up. Uh, she's performed flawlessly with the Air Armsfield Diablos. I've tried some BSAs through her. I've tried some um, Armex ones. I tried some other ones. A mix of different pellets. And do you know, although the Air Arms were the most accurate and bang on, all the others, there wasn't a lot in it. So, um, all in all, I've got a magpie going into the tree. Quite a lot of the magpies I've shot have landed in the uh, poo pit, and I couldn't re couldn't re re retrieve them. They were, yeah, beyond. I want going up to my neck and that stuff, not just to get a picture. <laughs> so they're staying where they are. But all in all, uh, really quite pleased with the Galad. But uh, like I say, a couple of little niggles, but they're not niggles really. They're just getting used to the gun. But like I say, that bit there, that's the one that you got to keep keep. I've, I tried to take a couple of shots on a stalk, didn't realise me jacket had caught it, and it done that, and it went click. And then what I was going to shoot up, buggered off. <laughs> but there we go. Anyway, but nothing major. So, excellent job. Well, here we are. It's a wet, rainy, horrible day in February. Uh, I had to come to the farm to deal with uh, some vermin problems. So I brought the uh, Galahad along. Uh, as you can hear, it's pouring down. So we've come inside the grain barn. Uh, good old Brooks with me. She's... Uh, been retrieving. We've got a few more birds to pick up, feral pigeons and all sorts. You know, we give the collar doves a bit of a bashing because there's quite a few here, there's a lot here. Really loving this gun. It's slightly heavy in places, you know, it gets heavy if you've been carrying it for a while. I fully suggest a sling on it. And uh, yeah, hello Brooke, you want to get in on it as well? Um, one thing that I found with the whole gun, if you're a pest shooter, not if you're a target shooter, won't matter for that, but for a pest shooter, it's like stalking or anything. Remember this, this gets caught in your jacket or anything like that, or you hit it gently, it goes down like that. And then what happens is click. A few times today I've gone click, oh, blimey. So just remember to watch this bit here. Not a fault or anything like that, it's just one of the things to remember that don't get your jacket caught or see it just drops down. So that's the one thing um, that for me as a pest shooter rather than a target shooter. As a target shooter, you can't fault it. I just did some zeroing earlier. Was it 30 yards? And the stick stuck everything in the size of my thumb there. Was literally stacking a magazine on top of magazine with pellet after pellet straight in there. Never missed a beat. Um, with a hawk scope on it, it's a hawk panorama, uh, 3 by 9 by 50. Um, again, for an air arms air rifle, you can't beat pairing it with a hawk. You know, so um, guards on this rifle. I may have a chance to get on the rabbits and things yet with it, but up to now. I'll just say proper job mucker. Thank you. 